Dang. Uh, Google got. Uh, uh, it, 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 Google's not completely invalid this week. Google got a twenty-five thousand dollar fine for supposedly impeding an FCC probe into Street View. I don't actually know the particulars on this one too well. All I know is they were fined. My guess is they're going to appeal the fine. Uh, I, I don't know if they were actually impeding or not as a thing. At this point, it's a matter of fact that they have been. I, I have mixed feelings on this front because Google's really been under the you're Google, therefore you're evil scope right now. It's, you know, that's just where Google is right now in the eyes of five governments. I'm not saying Google isn't necessarily evil, I'm just saying it's a little disproportional right now because there's instant... Why does Uncle Sam think that Google is evil? Maybe that... Is it because they're a spot to play? Uh, no, it... they're saying Google is evil because they're a private company that holds too much personal information and blah, blah, blah. It's no different uh, than fucking Facebook. Yeah, basically, uh, th what's largely motivating it is not the facts, it's the fact that you get instant political gain from the ignorant masses for attacking Google. Now there are so, which is, it's a shame that it's being gone about that way because there's plenty of valid facts and things to be looking at with Google and other things, but because in no way, shape, or form are we sticking to the facts and we're just going, oh yes, hi dumb people, are you afraid of Google? Don't worry! I, Senator, Congressman, lobbyist, yada yada, whatever, am fighting the big bad evil Google. Uh, what is Go what is Google do again? Oh yes, they're bad because my publicist told me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do not attack the Zucker Pope. You invite him over and ask him for advice. You do not attack the Zucker Pope. And you do not attack Apple because then you get billions and millions of friggin' rabid Apple fan boys and girls. Um. No, I people like Google. Remember, like last week's show. And honestly, some of the diehard Apple fanboys. Uh, are not as zealot as they used to be, and that's thanks largely to Steve Jobs. You know, they can no longer bury their heads in the sand because Steve Jobs' own words has said, I was an asshole. I will be an asshole. And I always shall be an asshole. They're like, he, he, really, he really was this... No, no, I gave him the benefit of the doubt in my firstborn, in my bank account. He can't be like this! No! Every time he came out, a new Mac. Every time he came out, well, you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still plenty of them out there. They're just they're they're a little winded right now. <laughs> Okay. Well, one of them is now Windows 8 fanboy. Yeah, he's converted. Not the way we, not in the way we wanted, but. <laughs> well, we kind of, we wanted him to go to a Unix-like system. Yeah, not. Uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> with crappy directories and crappy. And, and 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 something called, I think it's Metro and. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, we need to get like a video of Marcel. We need to get like a video of Marcel just like going, uh, and we got like a bear noise coming out of him or something. <laughs> he has one heck of a sense of humor. So he's probably one of the few people we can poke at like this where he'll just come back and correct us rather than get angry at He won't get mad. He'll get even. <laughs> so, so bad. Not, not to poke the bear further, is your Windows 8 install running on your Mac Pro, which Apple's probably going to discontinue. <laughs> Would that be talking to the bear? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You know, <laughs> when Apple finally does do that, we're going to have to handle that with very kid gloves. Because... <laughs> Uh, but will he do it with Metro or will he Frankintosh? I think he'd probably Frankintosh the. Uh, the he'd Mac use OS X against against the wishes of Apple. I, th I think he'd Frankintosh his. Master I'm not Frankintosh, I'm Macintosh. Yeah, he'd Franken he'd he'd buy the last Mac Pro and he'd Frankintosh it till the day he dies. <laughs> He's like, and today I'm micro soldering your 22 year old Mac Pro. <laughs> I can't say much. I've looked at, the, at getting a freaking Mac, uh, the freaking Power Mac. So. <laughs> God. All if, right. If, if they're cheaper than the freaking. Yeah, that's why I said today on micro soldering, <laughs> that is literally what you'd have to do. And here is how, okay, now watch this, it's very clever. You see, these pins are backwards, so what we have to do is, is basically create a, a micro solder, this cable to this one, and uh, we're, we're going to use safety pins to suspend this in midair so it doesn't short out. Don't worry, it'll work. <laughs> Just don't move it after it's pinned. Ever. <laughs> It will explode. Fine <laughs> uh, if you don't care for your computer. That's right. <laughs> but this is a 22-year-old Mac, Mac Pro. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> they don't make them at all. <laughs> oh, I think he's steamy now. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um... We should probably cover these two. Uh, the this one. Oh, I didn't put it on here. Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, do we care about the as a wrapping off story? Do we care about the Google Drive cloud backup thing? Supposedly, it's going to be free. It, it, Yeah, uh, well... Well, it was to use as a web server, but then they limited it to the storage on an object to 20 megabytes. <laughs> yeah, this one's supposedly going to be 5 gig, with the possible... One of the rumors is additional storage will cost additional money. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's... A, I'm instantly suspicious of it because it's from Google. You know, I'm not sure I want more of my data in Google's hands. And I have a sneaking suspicion, unlike services like... Are we sure? Huh? Are we sure? Is it going to be cert like services like no, Carbonite? It's not manually. Well, yes, but uh, it should self-encrypt. Most of the backup services that are available today, they... They have the files, but as part of the process of uploading them, they get encrypted. So even the people who are backing them up don't have a clue what files are actually backed up on their system. Uh, with Dropbox, everything's encrypted, but everybody has a shared key. So there's one, there's one master key that works with every account. Yeah, which is a big fail security-wise. Now, if Google offered that feature where it was individual encryption keys free, which could be easily done... Uh, that, that'd be a, I mean, we don't know the particulars, pretty much everything about this mystery cloud services rumor at this point. You may have to have a Google Chrome account and or Plus to even use it. You must ID. Do you have your GID? One, one people under the Googledom, regardless of nationality. Yes. <laughs> uh... Uh, I don't want to you think this is going to be a good thing, bad thing, waiting for the facts. I don't know. I don't. I use Ubuntu one, so whatever. <laughs> well, what do you think the uh, formal, you know, even more formal guest on the show, the Google fanboy? What do you think you would think of this? You know what? Bit will be his 
easily suspicious of anything Google. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, well, I'm a little suspicious of things Google. There's a reason I have eight Google accounts, and I have the things separated, and I use hacks and cookie things. And one of the pieces of software I aspire to building at some point is a browser with built-in sandboxing, so that. I'm using proxy spoofing and sandboxing and everything else so I can maintain numerous things to basically protect my ass from Google. Oh, wait, did I say that aloud? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, download Tor. Oh, no, but I mean so you can browse and it's just, it's, it's automatically anonymizing it. Yeah, it's like basically you can group them. You, like how you right click now and say new tab, new window, you can say whole new frickin' sandbox session. Proxy. <laughs> yeah, open this in the porn tab and open this in there. Porn tab? What's a porn tab? I just don't like, I, the main reason I want that is I don't like fighting with their login thing. There's a reason YouTube's under one account, my Gmail's on and I have a Google Plus, and I have multiple accounts, I have multiple analytics accounts, I have multiple things, and I do different browsing and different things under different accounts because I'm doing things for multiple people, multiple clients, it's not all mine, and I'm in different modes when I'm doing different frickin' things. I don't want these things interlapping, there's a reason they're separate. Stop trying to put me under the one Google Hive. Yeah, but Google wants to know the many, many shades and many moods of the Rusty. Well, the Rusty is the split personality Rusty. There are many separate shades of Rusty. <laughs> I thought it was red. Oh, no, right. there's copper, amber, and yellow. <laughs> and don't forget aluminum oxide. <laughs> else to add on that one? Not really. Anything else we want to go into this week? Show's over. Okay, everybody. Goodbye. Short so. I'm a little light on stuff because I was planning to leave room for bit rants, which we have none. But I'm sure we'll get an earful the next time we see him. <laughs> this has been Tech Babble, also known as Poking the Bear. <laughs> we would never do such a thing. Nah, never, never. We would never poke the bear. Don't poke the bear.